By the way, look at all this rust that we're fishing up out of our well. We've been bailing here for like 30 minutes now already, maybe even more. And we're just getting all this rust out of there. And we're keep bailing. We're gonna keep bailing until there's no more rust. So that well that we just barely pulled out, we got all the pipes right here now on this 44. We pulled it out. There was a 10 horse in there. It was uh, pumping off a little bit. We had it squeezed to about 50, give or take. And so we're gonna we're just gonna put poly. We're gonna put poly pipe in that hole. And we're gonna put a five horse pumping motor back in there so then we don't have to squeeze it. So now I'm just taking all these pipes. Got my little brother here with me. We're gonna go to the shop. We're gonna unload these pipes, hop on the folder, and then bring the five horse pumping motor back over there to the poly rig. Hopefully by that time they'll have it, they'll have done, or sorry, they'll be done bailing it. And then we can put in the poly pipe with that new five horse pumping motor. Yes, bring me my GoPro back. I forgot to bring it with earlier. I got it now. Give it to me. Give it to me. Thank you. And there you go. Nicely organized. Hey, so question. Yes. Do we have enough people here to put in one poly well? No. not. I mean, four people putting in one poly well, that's a little, uh, we're a little short-handed here today. Cause look at all this hard work we're doing. This is, it's getting a little intense here. Can you help holding this? <laughs> oh yeah, here, let me, let me, I got it. There you go. There you go. That, that, much better. <laughs> This is the stops too easy. I'll, I'll just sit here and I'll record y'all work. How's that? I'm okay with it. No. It's my GoPro. I record. <laughs> but yeah, five horses now going in the well. Guess I might as well show you a little bit update on when we were bailing. We finally got to some blue clay. This right here is just some blue clay. There's some still lots of big pieces of rust in there, but other than that, we got to some good rocks down to the bottom. There's lots of good rocks, well, minus the rust, of course, but the, it has really good rocks at the bottom, so that means there's good water flow. But we got down to red clay, or well, actually to blue clay, and so we called it good and we stopped bailing, but we had a nice big pile of rust here today that was all in the well, so I'm glad we got all that out of there, so. Well, we're 12 feet short from the bottom. We need 12 feet more of poly. So my brothers went to the shop. They went and got a nice, they're gonna get a nice long piece of poly. We're gonna connect it to this and then we'll be two feet from the bottom. That's with the knee right there, or the elbow, as you like to call it. It's, yeah, it's an elbow. No, it's a yeah, knee. It is a knee. That's an elbow. No, but this is also an elbow right here. But I, I call those knees. I don't know. Okay, well, a knee slash elbow. That's with it. So we're going to put that all together, hook it back up, turn on the well, and then we can start up this pivot again. Because right now the pivot doesn't quite have enough water. And so this well definitely needs to run. So after we get it fixed, we get to turn on, back, turn on that pivot again. And there's that extra seven and a half to eight foot extra piece. It worked. How much pressure does it make? Hold on, I'll let it pump the sand out oh, first. Yeah, there's a little bit of sand in there. Also, I hope it makes good pressure. This is a pretty deep well. Nope. 60 pounds, guys. Only 60? Oh, wow. We're yeah. going to need to get ourselves a different five horse pump. That was a big stage pump, wasn't it? Yeah, the pump showed it was supposed to be able to pump from 310 feet deep. Really? Yeah, and this, and we're now at what? 290? 280, 290? Something like that. So theoretically it should, but I don't know why. We're going to have to find ourselves a different pump. Or something.
Well, I mean, the water's a lot clearer now than it was earlier, but it's pumping good. We're just gonna leave it in here for now. If it ever goes out, then we'll see if we can put a better fire force in here, but for now, it'll just stay this way. So now the pivot's already running, and we just gotta open the tips yet. And we're done with the pump truck for today, so I'm just parking it here in the shop. Gonna go put on my rain suit. Don't also forget my gloves. Gonna go put on my rain suit and go open some tips. Oh, if you're wondering what's wrong with the four wheeler, I'll show you while I'm here. Uh, axle, drive shaft, not axle, but drive shaft, that's broken. Uh, I believe it should be here somewhere. Or is it not? Mm, looks like somebody might have taken it with, or maybe put it in here. There it is. Here's the old one. Can't quite tell because it's uh, not opened up, but in here, if you move this, it like it locks up. And right now it is locked up and it's like very jittery. And it's all the bearings inside here is all messed up, so. It just needs a new one of that, and then uh, that fluid will be good to go again. But I'm gonna go get my rain suit. Oh, you wanna know what? That's such a small pivot. I'm not gonna bother putting on my rain suit. I don't think there might be, there might not be too many tips closed. But I'll still take this guy. It doesn't need to be hooked onto there for no reason. But there is a little bit of moss on there, but that'll be okay. I'll just open all the ones that are closed completely. I don't think I'm gonna get too wet, so I'm not gonna bother with the rain suit, so. Yeah, they're looking really good though. They're not quite overlapping. This field doesn't have quite enough water. There's a closed tip. Oh, mess with that one lower. That one's spring a little funny, but I think, I don't know if this one's gonna, maybe I'll have to just clean it a little bit. Yeah, I don't think it's closed. There you go, that's better. This one too. There you go. But yeah, these peanuts are not quite overlapping yet. It's not quite enough water in this pivot. There's only an 80 gallon package. But peanuts still look really good. I think we'll still get a nice decent crop off of there. So I'm excited. Here's well here soon. I'm guessing in like a month. Maybe two months. No, um, we're hoping for two months, but it might might be a month, month and a half. We'll start digging peanuts. So here shortly, we're gonna have to start making all of our equipment ready, making sure it's all still working right, making sure there's nothing wrong with it, making sure we still work right, hook everything up. I know we have to get some cylinders off of our peanut buggies. We do need to fix those desperately. There's a lot of, a lot of moss growing everywhere, which that one's actually closed, hold on. All right, as I was saying, one of these days we need to make all of our machines ready. We have combines, we have the peanut buggies, the peanut basket, we serviced it pretty good last year. So I don't think the peanut basket is gonna need anything besides maybe a sprocket or something like that, but I think it'll be fine. Our shaker, I think that one's also gonna be fine. Uh, if you're wondering what a shaker is, a peanut shaker. Uh, I explained it in one of my last year harvest videos. Pretty much just gets any extra debris off of or from the peanuts, so you get a better grade for it. But that thing should be fine, conveyor should be fine. So just a uh, peanut digger needs to be serviced on. The Both peanut buggies need new seals and the cylinders. The cylinders that lift up the, the whole buggy which we'll probably do that here soon because that needs to be that, that needs to be done but all we're gonna do is just take off the cylinders bring them to a shop in town they deal with stuff like that they can take the whole thing apart and fix it all so we're just gonna take take them off of the peanut, peanut buggies bring it to them they'll fix it once we get it back we'll put it all back together and then our peanut, peanut digger is gonna need some work and then our combines need their yearly service so that's next on the list well it's time to get the buggies
So I'm hoping this tractor will still be able to fit in here. I know it'll be a tight squeeze because we still have the duels on there. Uh, we're not sure if we're still going to use this tractor for other things because we're just going to hook on the buggy and bring it to the shop just to work on it. So we left the duels on there for now. We might use the tractor with the duels yet. So it'll be a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I think I can manage. Manage This buggy is nice here in the middle, so I think I'll be able to fit past these doors. So I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, there you go. I made it work. And we're off. So what we got to do now Yes, I am filming on my phone. This is not my GoPro. I forgot it in my truck. That truck's not here. But what we gotta do, we gotta take off these cylinders right here. You can see me moving it up and down. We're gonna take those off because as you can see right there, it's leaking oil. And we also gotta take off these cylinders right here that go up and down that leaks oil on the top there too. So we now got to lift up this buggy just a little ways like this because right there on each end is a pin and we need to take that pin out of there. So we're using either the forklift, seeing if this will work just to kind of hold it up there or maybe we'll put some wood underneath there and set it down. But we need something to hold it up so we can take the pins out and then take the whole cylinder off of there. So that's what we're trying to do now. Well, we got the one cylinder off of there. It was a little bit of a pain having to disconnect it, was, it from it that was side. It was a pain because you refused to help hold I, the weight. I was holding the weight. I was holding majority of the weight. I was holding all of it, and you were just, again, just standing there. And I had to hold it off. I was holding all the way. I pretty much carried it from here, <laughs> and I put it there. Yeah, it's a good couple hundred pounds. It weighs a lot, and oil is still coming out of there there's no lines connected and it's making a gigantic mess but we got the trailer here now we're gonna load it up on there and then there's two more leaky ones in the back so we're gonna get those too i tell you what though this is one messy job there's grease all over the place oil everywhere my boots full of oil already there's, there's grease and oil everywhere it's a very messy job i'll tell you that but Anyways, got this bottom pin already. We just took this one off. It's the same thing as that one. Just a pin on this side and a pin on that side. Now we just really got this pin out right here. It was this pin right here that we just, we, that we just took out. And surprisingly, this one's not as full of as as full of hydraulic oil as the other ones were. But anyways, now we just got to take that top pin out yet, and then this one should be able to come right off. So there's that one, and then we might go hook on that other buggy yet. Bring that one over here and do the same thing to that one. Got that one unhooked now. All these cylinders are all on the trailer now. Now I'm on my way to go get that next buggy. Well, it worked a little funny getting here to this last one because I had to be quite a, bit, quite a bit of an angle because of I still have the duels on here. So, because I was at an angle, now I hope I just don't hit that other buggy right there as I'm driving out, but I'm pretty sure I can manage. But that buggy right there, we're not going to fix that one up because we don't think we're gonna use that one, but it's there if all of a sudden we need it. And if we do need it, it's only gonna be for like a day or two. So we're just gonna leave that one there. Bring this one to the shop and start working on this one. And that's the last of them. There's the last one. Got it all off right there. You can clean the cylinders if you want. Off the trailer. It's going to have to all be cleaned yet, maybe. Pressure wash it. Who knows what. So, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take for them to fix all the cylinders and everything. But, in the meantime... I don't know how long it'll take, probably not too long, but we're, we're going to want to clean everything, get all the oil off of here, to, I guess wipe everything down, pressure wash it, whatever works, clean everything to where whenever we do get them back, it's going to be a whole lot easier to put them back together. But this one had, this buggy right here had three cylinders that were bad, and then this one only had two of them. This one was a little bit easier than the other one. 
because we didn't have to take off these bottom cylinders right here. We just took off these that push it up and down. Those two cylinders right here, they control it to where it dumps it out and puts it back. So these were a lot easier. The ones that go up and down, they were a lot easier. So this buggy didn't take as long as the other one, but putting it back together doesn't seem as difficult as taking it apart. For one, it's gonna be a lot cleaner already. And so we don't have to deal with all the hydraulic oil and whatnot. So theoretically it should be easier, but as for now, I think we're gonna clean off the other, all of the, all the cylinders that we took off. I think we're gonna clean them off just a bit before we bring them to the machine shop. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And these gloves right here, they're just a little dirty. So I think it's safe to say those are trash. And they're all clean. Forklift got a little bit oily too, so we're cleaning that off too. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. We cleaned everything up, everything's ready to go. Uh, I know it wasn't on my GoPro this time, but that's gonna have to be okay. But as always, thanks for watching guys.